Tales Town. Dan's Den. Dan's Den. Hello everyone and welcome to Dan's Den. So I was asked to do a video on how to save money. And so here we are. Now I'm going to start with a quote which I got wrong initially, but I'm going to get it right this time. I'm going to get it right this time. That which we teach, we often need to learn. It's something like that. It's like the thing that we are finding ourselves teaching often is the thing that we actually need to learn in ourselves. Um, so that also speaks this whole thing about, you know, accountability. I love talking about it. Accountability, holding yourself accountable, etc., etc. All that good stuff. So that basically uh, is saying what it says. And, you know, we don't need to look into that any further. So um, how, how can you save money? Now, I actually have personal experience in this because I remember going through a time where I would earn money and um, I, I don't want to say lose it, just spend it really easily. It would always go, 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 go. And it actually came to a place where uh, it was kind of too little, too late. But the lesson was learned that when it came to a point where I really, really needed to buy something, I could not afford it because, of course, I'd spent all the money that I had. And it was money that was in consumables, so stuff that didn't last. So uh, I have made other investments, for example, like my computer and my, my monitor and my console, my TV and stuff like that, stuff that's still around. But there's a lot of money that went into things that were consumable. So actually, that could be tip number one um, when it comes to saving money. I'm, I'm literally jumping straight into it. So number one is... Be mindful of consumables. Now, when I say that, I literally mean things like fast food, right? Um, going out for drinks um, and not alcoholic drinks, just going out for drinks like coffee, going for milkshakes, stuff like that. Really be mindful of when that happens. Again, none of this is stop doing it. It's maybe cutting it down. So instead of going every time, if you have a regular routine with going out to buy fast food or whatever, Maybe cut it down to every other time. Just start there. Because however much money you spend on that thing is saved, right? That's number one. So watch out for that. And in fact, a lot of the times when it comes to actually even earning more money, a lot of it comes down to where you're spending it, right? So that's where I would start immediately. Because those things can be, because they're like, sometimes it's a few pounds here, a few pounds there, and we don't think it's a lot, right? But if you think, for example, let's say, if you break it down, let's say a person, out to theoretically goes out for fast food every weekday right they go to work and every lunchtime they go out to you know a place and buy food and they spend a fiver right every day on lunch now they could make their lunch at home and it could be a lot cheaper and they get more food out of it right but they spend this so that means that they're spending 25 pounds a week now if we make that a whole month that is 100 pounds a month that person is spending on food which is unnecessary because actually that's £100 they could be saving or maybe a little bit uh, less than that because of course they're still spending money on the food they would cook at home for lunch. But let's put it into that category of £100 a month that they're spending on something that is not actually essential. And that ties perfectly into the next one, essentials. Now when I say this, <laughs> this is key. This is so key because a game I played with myself was asking the question, if I saw like a jumper, or indeed a consumable, anything like that. And I was like, oh, I've got to have that. Oh, I must have that. It felt essential. It felt essential. Now, I could go into why it felt essential at the time, but that's not what this video is really about. But I would say, ask yourself again, right? You can ask yourself the first time, is this essential? And then ask yourself again, no, no, no. Is this really essential? Do I have to have this right now? and ask yourself why. Like, almost interrogate yourself fully. Like, give yourself the third degree questioning. Do I really need this right now? And bear in mind, you get to a point in questioning where you're like, if I really have to ask myself this much, the answer is no, right? The answer is just no. I don't need this right now. Because what that will be is it'll be a short-term fix, right? A short-term sense of self-gratification which, uh, which is the cost of a long-term sense of, I can't afford this, or I, I can no longer buy that, okay? So essentials, and in fact, I'm gonna put that in little bunny rabbit ears right there. Essentials, watch out for those, seriously. And that'll be a tough, maybe, maybe for some of you, a bit of an uphill battle, but seriously, ask, grill yourself on that. Do I really, really need to have this right now? That was, that was the main turning point for me actually starting to save money or at least spending a lot less on the things that I thought were essential when actually they weren't. So do look out for that. 
the next one then is going into bop, 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 bop. Um, actually i'll go into essentials now i will go into the essentials in capitals let's look at that bop, bop, ba, da, 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 bop, ba. the things that you actually need because this ties into short-term and long-term things that you foresee yourself needing to buy for example, I spoke to someone recently, I remember, they, they, they wanted to save up to buy a computer, a gaming computer. Now, those things aren't cheap, right? They're not cheap, and there's a lot of lessons to be learned in that. And they said, oh, but I love buying clothes and da 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 And I was like, what is more important to you right now? Is it having a computer in six months or having a new jumper right now? And they, you know, they were like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And I was like, answer, answer the question. Because only if you answer the question are you going to find out whether or not that thing you're saving up for is really worth it. And the reason it's important to have something worth saving up for is because that's when you can basically anchor something against what you're wanting to buy now and going, actually, I would rather have that. Right? I would rather have that thing. So when I put essentials in capitals, what I'm saying is have something that's actually more important for you personally to buy than that than the asset than the essentials something far more important to buy because what that does is every time you come across something that looks good that's jumped into your into your vision and you've gone oh that looks great think mm, no actually you know because i'm saving up for that thing that's always going to trump this so i'm definitely going to not buy that right now and actually i can i can say both me and my partner and i've met other people who do that exact practice oh i really want that thing that would be so great but actually, no, because I really want that other thing. So I'm not going to get this because actually that's more important. I'm going to wait for that thing because that thing's going to be great when I get it. So watch out. And also watch out when you trick yourself. Okay. I, 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 again, I'm so familiar with this. Is tricking yourself going, well, you know, I could spend it now and I could save next month. No, because that means next month will come and next month will come and next month will come. Now is the time for you to pay attention to those things that are much better saving up for than the immediacy of what you've got in front of you. Okay, now then, um, going into the next part. Now this goes into my uh, puzzle feeders for the cat. Now when I saw these things, uh, my cat unfortunately is a little bit on the weighty side and I really wanted to give it something to do because it's an indoor cat who uh, is basically heart of gold but terrified of new people. So obviously when it goes outside, um, just the sound of another person, he freaks out and comes back in. Um, but he's got a heart of gold. He's extremely cuddly. So when we have new people over, he freaks out for like 30 seconds. And then next thing you know, he's on their lap cuddling them and stuff. That's the thing. Um, so, yeah, so I was like, oh, puzzle feeders. Because puzzle feeders will help him lose weight and still, you know, give him that energy to like hunt for his food instead of just getting food in front of him. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, okay. Um, so these things cost like 15, 20 quid. Okay. And then I thought about it and I was like, I'm pretty sure I could make one of these. I'm pretty sure I could make one of these. And so I went on YouTube and I looked up, you know, puzzle feeders, how to make puzzle feeders. And I actually made three or four different ones, but there's two that survived. And one that's really, really worked very, very well. And it was very simple. You could say it was free, but obviously I had to pay for the drink. But effectively all I did was I, I got this bottle that was empty and being unused and um, I cut a hole in it and puzzle feeder, done. That was it, it was really straightforward. So actually be resourceful. Where, I'm going to put that in capitals as well. I probably should have put them all in capitals. Be resourceful, right? If you can get it for free or cheaper, find out where. Find out where you can get that thing, free or cheaper. Make it yourself. But effectively, that's a great way to save money. Because what money can feel like is that it's, it's a convenience thing. Oh, if I just buy it, it'll arrive in the house ready, but I don't have to worry about it. But if our intention is to save money, then actually we can get, and actually, you know, I, I, got, I had a lot of fun with this exercise. We can get resourceful. We can find out where we can get things cheaper that are actually maybe sometimes of better quality. I had an old friend of mine who genuinely would always, 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 she was very good at saving money and she would always shop around, find the thing that was better or of better quality that would cost less, or she would make it herself. And the amount of money she saved was phenomenal, actually. She, um, Believe it or not, she was able to save up to buy her own house. Uh, build her own house. Build her own house. She she was going to build a house in a different country. So it's not like it'd be buying a house here. So it's slightly different or building a house here. But still, she was saving up to build her own house. And actually, I remember she saved up enough money to build her own house. But the way that she did that, obviously not just through doing this, but this really helped because she wasn't spending hundreds of pounds 
getting the, the the nicest thing or the best label or anything. She was making it herself or finding it somewhere cheaper and actually looking after it, right, um, in a better way so that it wouldn't fall apart. So actually, number five in saving money, believe it or not, then goes into uh, maintenance. Now, I can talk for days about the circumstances we are in right now. But I'll put it, I'll, I will put it this way, I'll put it in one statement, one nice easy statement, and I'll just leave it there. If we had maintained ourselves, right? If we have just done the little things to make sure that we were keeping our, on top of everything, we would not have to be quarantined. The cost of us not maintaining ourself and looking after ourselves is potentially a month, you know, maybe more of isolation and quarantine. So it costs us, it costs us not to maintain things. Simple as. Then, there we go, let's go into more practical stuff at the bottom. Number six, what we want is a plan. How much money do you want to have in how much time? Right? So you say to yourself, in six months, I want to have this much money saved up. Divide it down to those months or, you know, whatever, and then see if you can afford it. Have a plan and then basically stick to the plan. If you have a bank account, set up a direct debit. Find out, Google how to set up a direct debit with your bank account and set it up and put it into another account. Just make sure it's saved every month and then it automatically takes place. And then you don't really have to think about it. Find out when you get paid, right? On your payday, set up a direct debit and you have that money sent straight into the account. Boom. And therefore it's there, right? And you can't touch it. It's there. It's gone. And what you'll get used to is that habit of just having that money put somewhere. And it's not that you've lost it. It's not that you can't use it. It's just that you're saving it and that's it, right? So have that plan in place by all means. Always, always put something in place that goes, right, I'm going to have this much money saved every single month. There's a rule that suggests that 20% of your paycheck goes into saving. But again, if you're finding that a bit too much, depending on how much money you're earning, you know, make it 10 but as long as you're putting something in there, I wouldn't say go any less than 10. I really wouldn't say go any less than 10. But 20% is an ideal amount to put away to make sure that you're always saving something and make sure there's an immediacy to it. Don't, If you don't trust yourself to save or you're starting to save, best probably best practice is actually to set it up so it's automatic. So you don't have to make the decision. It's made for you every single month. And that way it's out of your hands and you don't have to think about it. All right. Um, then... What else have we got? What else have we got? I'm trying to think of the last one, number seven. There was one in my head, and I, I'm just trying to remember what it was. I think I've got it. I think that I'm sure. I mean, there are more. Don't be wrong. There will be more bits out there, but this will be it. So do you know what? I'm going to leave this there. But actually, if you have any other questions that don't, you know, tie to this, then leave them in the comments, and obviously I can answer you there, and we can do like a part two of this. But for now, that's what I suggest, right? In regards to saving money. Take a look at all those things. Now, bear in mind, saving money is not just about the plan and number six. It's looking at what you're spending, right? How much money is going out? Because if you're doing the consumables, if you're buying the essentials, if you're not being resourceful and not maintaining, then saving becomes a lot harder because you'll find that suddenly there's so much money going out and you won't understand why that, that planning to save is nigh on impossible because you have no money left to save because you spent it all on seemingly important things. And I say that's important because that's exactly the trap that I fell into. I thought these things were important, so I bought them. So at the end of every month, I had no money left to actually save. So I started looking at where I was spending first, where I could actually have money to save first. And that's what's really important, all right? So those are the six points. And if you have any questions or anything to say, or if you have advice of your own, leave it in the comment box below. Let's share our knowledge, share our wealth, of knowledge and, and share our wealth too. And, um, and let's see if we can get ourselves saving, all right? Thank you for the request. If you have any more requests about how to's, then of course you can send them to dansdenyt at gmail.com. Or of course, you just leave a comment uh, below this video here. Thanks very much, everyone. Hope you're having a great day and I will see you soon. Don't forget to jump onto the live videos every day, every weekday at 12 p.m. Later.